I'm not even sure what this video is about, but I keep hearing that Kate and William have fired their nanny, a Spanish nanny, and that the timing of her being fired is very curious, given that it's at the exact moment that they would have needed extra help with the children, given Kate's health situation, right? which is a topic that I find increasingly tedious. But, um, I mean, not not to just be, be, you know, whatever, but it's just like, oh, you know, just so much focus on such a, a, a dark and negative thing. I, I just want some light, you know. But anyway, um, so I keep thinking, why would they have fired their nanny at this time, the timing is really just questionable and strange. But as of um, April 5th of this year, which is just about, I would say 10 days ago, 12 days ago, it seems that this woman was still in their employ. Her name is Maria Barralo. And, um, she is Spanish, right? And, you know, this article is basically saying that she's still with the family. She's very useful. And there was a documentary um, that was, um, um, you know, a, a documentary on Friday, April 5th, um, that really revealed how indispensable she is as, as a Nunu, as a, how do you say Nunu, as, um, as a babysitter, you know, a nanny, basically. And I, I, so I'm not understanding why everyone is saying that she, this woman has been fired, unless it was somebody else, and they replaced her with Maria Barallo. But it doesn't sound, I mean, my French is not very good, obviously, but it doesn't sound to me that this woman is a recent hire. It sounds like she has been there for a while and that they consider her to be a super nanny. And, um, you know, she's well-educated. She's a single woman you know, no husband, no kids, you know, she's 47. So she's like the perfect candidate to, to be a nanny. Apparently she lives out. She does not live with the family, which is also curious because they have such a huge home at Adelaide Cottage. And of course, Kensington Palace, if they are in London proper. And so you have to wonder why they insisted on having a live out nanny. So, you know, clearly it's a family who wants privacy. You know, they left Kensington Palace where I guess, you know, there were so many aides and people walking around. It was like living in a museum and moved to Adelaide Cottage and they have four bedrooms and the nanny lives close by. They pay her about $100,000 a year, which is not bad it's not bad and she seems to be a super nanny so i'm not understanding um why people are saying that she she was fired unless it was somebody else and she was hired after which doesn't make a huge amount of sense to me timing wise you know um and i was watching tisa today tonight and it, she said something about um, you know, the Spanish papers are insisting that, you know, we haven't been told the full story about the princess of Wales and the nanny is Spanish and isn't that. Well, look, I mean, let's put it this way. If in fact it's true that the Waleses have terminated the services of their nanny at this time, then it would ring all sorts of bells for me. I mean, it would be more than curious it would be very very suspicious because even if she's not the best of nannies and they're thinking of firing her I would think they would wait until after the princess of Wales has 
recuperated and been given a green light about her health, unless she's just not sick at all, which is possible, like I said, before they fired the nanny because they need the extra help. You know, I mean, it, it's just, it just seems very, very strange timing. And by all accounts, I mean, this woman is an excellent nanny. She gets along famously with the children. She's no threat to to Kate in terms of a, another woman in the house or something like that. She's she's 47. Well, they're in the same age range, actually. She's not really that much older than Kate and William. So, in fact, you know, things could go awry there, if you know what I mean. But... Um, yeah, I, I don't know why people keep saying that the nanny was fired. Because it seems to me that the nanny is still very much in position. Do correct me if I'm wrong, because I know the Sussex squad, they know these things inside and out. And they can tell me. I mean, remember, my, my channel is really about just commenting on on the data you know i'm not professing to be an expert at the data so you know there are people who obviously know a lot more than i do about this stuff so is this the nanny they're saying that was fired because if they fired the nanny at this time as i said it's very very curious you know why would somebody do that but it sounds to me that according to this um tele loisir this french paper it sounds like she's a real Mary Poppins and she's a very loved and popular nanny with the with the Waleses and the Waleses' children and that she's still on the job and so on and so forth. I mean, I'm not buying any of these stories by the Spanish paper that Kate is in a coma. Kate is not in a coma. Kate is on strike. She's not making royal appearances in my opinion, because she doesn't want to for her reasons, okay? She's perfectly fine. I don't think she fired her nanny. She's just keeping a low profile. She's keeping a low profile, right? And, you know, look, good for her, frankly. I mean, at this point, good for her. But, yeah, tell me about the nanny. I mean, what's going on with that, you guys? Because I'm, I'm not finding anything that suggests that she has been fired. Because if she's fired, she's been fired. It's very, very interesting and might lend for some interesting analysis. So do tell me in the comments if you have any idea.